20 past 10, ABC New South Wales. Dougal Saunders with you. And uh, we've been talking about Christmas and some of the great memories from Christmas. But we all know that Christmas can also be a pretty tough time. While TV, movies, magazines show pictures of happy families, for many that is just not the case. Things like grief and separated families, financial issues, they can all compound to make this one of the more stressful times of the year for plenty of people. So Interrelate has released a guide to help you navigate the festive season if you need a bit of help. Robin Heron spoke to Anne Heath, who's the area manager from Interrelate Central West. This Christmas Interrelate has decided to release a guide for surviving Christmas for the families that we work with but also for other families in the community. And we've done this because Christmas can be a stressful time for all families. Things like the expense of buying gifts and heightened expectations all can undermine people's good intentions around Christmas. Is this something you've seen a need for? Absolutely, it's something that we've seen a need for. Our centres get extremely busy across New South Wales around Christmas time and our phones run hot with people asking for ideas about how to manage Christmas. So... This is our first draft of getting a surviving Christmas guide out there. Mm-hmm. Um, we, hope, we hope it's going to help people to get the most out of the Christmas season. Tell me some of the categories it covers. It covers dealing with grief and loss, separated and blended families, managing family expectations, managing kids' expectations, managing family conflict and, most importantly, looking after yourself. Let's talk about some of those things. Grief and loss in particular. Christmas is a a time where it it always sort of seems to hit home when you've lost someone. So what are some of the coping mechanisms that might be recommended for dealing with that? So it's important to give yourself permission to grieve. It's your first Christmas or another Christmas without a loved one or without being part of a family. So it's important to allow yourself to show your grief in whatever way is appropriate for you. There's often local support groups as well who are doing things and having gatherings to support people who, who are having grief issues around Christmas or it's a time when you can reconnect with your good memories around Christmas as well. We hear a lot about separated families as well and that is a large component of of who you deal with at Interrelate. So tell me what the suggestions then if if you've just gotten separated and this might be your first Christmas as a separated couple or a separated family. So it's important at Christmas to focus on the children so that the children don't become part of any ongoing disagreements around custody or the breakdown of a relationship. We might need we might want to think about creating new traditions for our family the way our family is now that are going to work for us at this time. And also to tell our children things like, I'm looking forward to spending some time with you rather than I'm going to miss you so much when I wake up on Christmas morning and, and, and you're not there. Mm-hmm. So to put the children at the centre of the conversations that we have around that. What about contact arrangements? Do they tend to get a bit up in the air at at this time of year? Sometimes holidays wreak havoc with with people's best intentions about contact arrangements and that people might be trying to meet competing demands from their extended families and so on. So we would really urge people to be flexible about their contact arrangements. If they're not able to use a contact centre to maybe ask a a relative or a friend who they trust to to assist them with their changeover arrangements, for example. But flexibility and communication is the key. And again, making the children be the centre of that, what's going to be the best for our kids. How busy does it tend to be for you at this time of year? Do you see an increase in, in clients coming in? Some businesses wind down at the end of the year and ours winds up at, at the end of the year. As, um, as the holidays approach and the festive season approaches, our phones run hot and lots of people are wanting to to come in and and see us. I, I think the holidays escalate any any conflicts around, around family matters and there's also peaks in domestic violence and family violence that happen during the holidays as a result of stress, I think, and alcohol and, and other things. Mm-hmm. So we urge people to continue to call and to, um, to ask for help through that time. And I mean, this guide, it isn't just for separated families or families going through crisis. It, it, there's probably something in there for, for most families. Well, a lot of families have um, conflict in their families when they all come together mm-hmm. at Christmas, unfortunately. So there's tips for managing family conflict and expectations 
tips for managing kids' expectations. Mm. I think it must be really difficult around Christmas to try and meet all of our children's expectation when they're faced with a barrage of advertising and so on. And the last section in the book is tips for looking after yourself. So if you're looking after yourself and feeling really good and on top of things at Christmas, you're much more likely to be able to help other people manage that. Mm. What are some of those tips for looking after yourself? To treat yourself, plan something special for yourself, keep things simple and prepare in advance. Often think that Christmas becomes overwhelming for us because we just keep thinking of one more thing we should do, but really keep it simple. I've heard you mention there a few times expectations, kids' expectations, our expectations. You also mentioned the media. What do you think is the message that we get at this time of year about what Christmas is and how it should be celebrated as a family? So we get a couple of conflicting messages from the media, I think. We get the happy families message that all families are happy and that everyone's going to meet together in a happy sort of nuclear family situation. And that's not true in Australia for, for most families. Families are very very different, they come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and the other expectation is that there's going to be loads of food and loads of gifts and plenty of plenty of everything and that puts enormous financial pressure on people so there's a bit of a spend, spend, spend sort of message that goes on. And that's just not something that everyone can can live up to? Certainly not something that everyone can live up to and, and we have to doubt the wisdom of trying to live up to it and then spending the rest of the year paying it off. Financial stress is still the highest quoted reason for a relationship breakdown in Australia. Mm -hmm. So I, I think Christmas can increase that financial stress in families as well. Now how can people access this guide? Um, we're going to be giving it out at lots of locations around. I think we're going to be at the next farmer's market in Dubbo and we're going to be down the street at, um, giving out our guides but if someone wants to pop into our office at um, 138 Darling Street they're on the counter and we're happy to give them to people there as well but we'll be out and about giving them out. And there are interrelate offices all over New South Wales? There are a number of interrelate offices in New South Wales mostly they're on the coast but we've got an office in Dubbo and one in Orange mm -hmm. and one's, one's in Lismore and Sydney and so on. And you can also call us on our 1300 number, which is 1300 473 528. Now, I understand that uh, you're looking at developing this guide a bit further. This is the first year that we've had this guide. It's been really, really popular already. We've given away thousands of copies already. And next year we're going to have a stronger regional focus. So I think each region will have their own guide. So that will have the universal tips, but also some special tips. So I thought that it needed to include something like how to survive Christmas on a 40 degree day in Dubbo. <laughs> yes, which, definitely. <laughs> which it doesn't have and some local and regional flavour mm. as well. So next year that will be included. What about drought? Because I imagine that's something that would be fairly impacting a lot of families around this area. Drought is impacting a lot of families in this area and we've been working on the drought assistance project and it's having a huge impact across the region. So I'd urge um, families that are being impacted by drought to make sure that they get in contact with any of the services that are providing resources and see what's available to them around Christmas gifts and resources and so on. What do you think is the overall thing people need to remember at this time of year? To think what Christmas really means to you and your family. If it's about family and it's about being together, let's make it be about that. Let's keep it simple. If we can, let's keep our expenses down and really celebrate ourselves and, and our well-being. Holidays ought to be a time of, of health and well-being rather than of, of family conflict and stress. That's Anne Heath ending that report with Robin Heron and you can uh, get in contact with Interrelate if you want more details. one 473 528 or your local Interrelate office.